close to the fire. You're staying warm by the fire? Mm-hmm. That's good. Nice toasty fire in the morning. It's hard to beat, isn't it, Amy? Good morning, campers. I think we're on day three. Look at the sunrise in the background. Fuel for the soul. Soak it in. About to get that first cup of coffee. And the fresh mountain air, y'all. And today we're going to be doing some fishing. I have always been able to catch some trout up here in the in the little streams and also in this lake that we're camped by. But I've I've already tried a little bit and it's been difficult. And we really need to catch some because we're planning on one of our meals being trout. The camp is counting on me to get some fish today. So I'm gonna put in some work. I've fished for like an hour here, an hour there, but I've had four bites since I've been here and not a full connect. Hopefully we can get some rainbows, some kokanees, uh, maybe even a brown trout out of the lake this morning. So let's get that coffee, let's get warmed up, get fueled up, and give it a day. That's the sweet nectar that makes me and Moppy in a good mood in the morning. Okay, our trout adventure begins. Like I said, it's been hotter than, than usual. The other times that I've been up here, this is my fourth year in this general forest area. I'm wearing shorts. I can't remember wearing shorts like every day like this. I'm taking two spinning reels. So I got the new 1000 size Dreaming Squad Gold Series and matching the rods, but these are the, uh, sorry, I'm out of breath, <laughs> altitude. These are the micro series. So trout and panfish rods should be really good for throwing these uh, light rooster tails. I've got a little bit of a hike. I'm gonna fish a spot that I haven't been to yet. And it takes a little bit of walking to get to. So we got about three quarters of a mile walk and then hopefully we'll, uh, it'll be worth it. Okay guys, running head cam here. Very calm conditions. I'm gonna start off with this little, uh, I think it's an eighth ounce, yeah, eighth ounce little rooster tail. And just see, the only thing I've gotten bit on, uh, well I should say that, I got bit on the rooster tail in a little stream, but in the lake I've only been getting bites on a spoon and it's just like little slaps i'll be darned if there's not any fish out here though there's definitely fish in here oh there was a trout right there definitely saw one surface right there go with a spoon a nickel spoon and I've seen a couple of surface in this area so I'm just gonna experiment with different depths maybe they're I don't know I don't know where they're at I don't see a whole lot of bug activity holy patooties sorry I didn't get that on camera for you guys we had a hard lull hard lull. I didn't think I was going to get a fish. This is a kokanee right here. Oh my gosh, this guy's going nuts. So I tried the old uh, doe bait. Wasn't getting bit on that. And I tried the, oh dude, this guy is insane. I tried throwing spoons for a while. I tried the float and fly. Pistol Pete's what, what just it was just not going down if I can get this guy on here successfully I'll tell you the rest of the story there we go okay
So I did not even want to attempt to click record on GoPro because I was desperate to get a fish in. So we finally got a kokanee and the second cast, this lure right here, this is one that one of you sent me. You made them, it's an inline, inline spinner. I'm gonna try to get this box out because I got the whole box. So whoever sent me this box years ago, I've hung on to it because it had, you know, I don't trout fish a ton, but it looked like some, some decent trout fishing uh, lures in there, some salmon fishing lures. And what do you know? Tied one of those on there. I don't even know what weight it is. It just looked good. And there he is right there. So let's give her a dangle. Come on now. Give me another. I need two for... Me and Steph's dinner tonight. Another one. Come on, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're cooking with Crisco. It's a decent one. Voracious. Look at that rod gyrate. Okay, that's about, those fish were about five minutes apart. That's good. Get your wiggles out. Uh, yeah, there we go. Fish number two, kokanee salmon. go two kokanees that one's pretty shallow this lure is getting it done right now if i get one more of those wife will be happy just a steady retrieve is all i'm doing here every time i've caught fish here it's you've got to go so slow but it's very similar to crappie fishing since I've gotten pretty decent at crappie fish in the last few years. It's, uh, you know, it's a lot slower presentation usually. Throwing small lures that you've got to just get a real steady, slow retrieve on. The setup is handling the fish good too. I'm yet to lose fish. These, uh, these trout and these salmon, they just shake their heads so violently. I've lost so many. You really got to have a light rod. It's almost 11 o'clock, so we're going to start getting some winds here too. Midday mountain winds. That might help, might hurt, I'm not sure. Grasshoppers are coming out. walk down here where I haven't fished yet try this lure go to these couple points little points it seems to be where all the, the kokanee salmon live it's right off the end of points okay we got the lure they want we got a little wind now we just need to run into a couple of them. There's two subtle little points right in front of me. That I'm gonna try casting over. Ooh. Oh, dang it, it's a rock. What a background. Just need a fish to gyrate my tip, please. Give me the tip gyrations. Mule deer. Mule deer coming to get a drink. Oh yeah, look at this little point. Woo! This is juicy. There we go. Come on, baby. 
Kokanee. Kokanee in. Nope, 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 nope. They certainly know how to make their way back to the water. All right there, bud. Oh, he's getting back in the water. Oh my God, he got away. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I had him pinned. I had him pinned to the ground. <laughs> Holy smokes. All right. Reason to catch another one. Daggum, you got to get a death grip on those things. I really thought he was done. I was wrong. He's getting back in the water. Oh my God, he got away. Oh God, he could have smoked. Smoked. Missed him. here not going anywhere got you in the trees take this guy up here to about 10,000 feet so he doesn't get back in the water holy cow that thing is when you when you drop one and they like just roll right into the lake I'm gonna walk him back to my stringer I think we're good on kokanees. We got our meal for the day. Well, you're out of breath. <laughs> we I just hiked. We saw you walking. Well, we actually went down to the uh, the overlook and we saw you. Whee! Out there fishing. I went a long ways. We were heading back as you were heading back too, and I saw you were holding something. I am. And yes, for your dining outdoor pleasures, yeah. I've acquired three kokanee salmon. Oh, that was my bet. She thought it was a cutthroat. Yep, kokanee, kokanee salmon. All right. Those I had four. Delicious. I literally had another one at my feet. I oh. thought I had him, and then he slipped out of my grasp and, oh, and jumped back in the water. But I think that'll be enough for us tonight. I'm not sure if any wants to eat a bony salmon. We might give her a taste. Yeah, we'll give her a taste. She ate it last time when she was two. But I still need to clean them. Well, what do you think? Are those pretty? Mm -hmm. That's the kokanee salmon. It sure is a pretty background behind you. Yep, you can pull that in. That's going to be our din din. Yeah, hold them up. <laughs> Say, I got a fish. I got a fish. <laughs> you got three you got fish. fish. You got dinner. Oh, I'll never forget that first time you said that. I got a fish got down fish. here. You're holding a little plastic. I got a fish. You got a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. Yay, Emmy. And that's our dinner. I was smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like daddy. Smell it. Mmm. <laughs> smells like dinner. Hmm, you see their little noses, how sharp their little noses are? Uh -huh. All right, Mommy, you want to hang on to Ziploc? All right, Ziploc. Okay. All right, Amy. I wonder what these fish have been eating. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> small fish. I think they've been eating small fish. All right, just show everybody at home how to clean a trout, or uh, in this case, it's a kokanee salmon, which I actually prefer to eat over the trout. You want to feel it? It feels pretty soft. <laughs> it feels pretty soft and slippery, huh? Mm. It's kind of gooey. Slimy. So you don't need any kind of special fillet knife for this. You can literally use a pocket knife. I'm just using my little camp knife here. And you want to cut right behind the head. Now a lot of the really good meat is right behind the head. So you just want to cut right. Let me show you guys. So you want to get like right there. It's better to put the fish down where you got like a 
steady surface, but you'll feel it kind of slip in between that little, uh, that little that spine good. there. Flip them over, go up through the anus, go up through the belly there. And then, Amy, we're gonna poke our little thumb in here. Mm. Eee. We're gonna see what, what this fish has been eating. What do you think? Ooh. I don't see much. Looks like a male. These little white things are it's what the males use to make more fish. So once you get the, the inner side cleaned out, you can just take where you cut on top and pull down with your thumb. Uh -huh. That whole section just comes right off. And then we, we feed it to the fish there. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting all dirty, but watch. We're just gonna push with our thumb right here. Push all those little nasty parts out. I'll give it a rinse like this. And it's done. It doesn't look so nasty. Look at that. Beautiful oh, yeah. orange meat inside of there. Ooh, that's gonna be yummy. Yeah, Sorry. that's what that's what mommy likes right there. Alright, mommy. Okay. Ziploc. That's going in. Okay. That's, that's dinner. First fish. Tell me if I'm in frame. Does this look good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Give me my little camera girl right now. I see you're cutting the fish. Right, there you are. Then we go up. Mm-hmm. You got it, Emmy? Mm-hmm. Everything looking good? All yep. right. We'll pull down. Mm-hmm. Get a pull down. Chunk the head. Looks like we got another male. All right, I'm done filming. You're done? Yeah. All right, you want to hit the red button on the top for me? It's just red. And scene. Let's get a fire going. Got a beautiful fire going. We're gonna cook these salmons. The way I haven't done it before, I'm gonna try it with a Dutch oven over the fire with a with a hanging a hanging pot basically. So I'll be able to control the fire a little better that way. Never done it, but we'll still put them in tinfoil. We'll do the, uh, the butter, the lemon, and all that stuff, but I'm not going to do them caveman style where I just throw them into the coals. I'm going to do a more controlled method. We'll see how it turns out. And hopefully the rain's going to hold up long enough for us to get these things cooked. So the rain knocked down our fire a little bit, but this is what we're going to be cooking with. It's just a Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven. I've got a tripod set up. And I've got a little pot hanger that I'm going to be sitting over some paracord. Uh, this worked out really well with cooking some pulled pork last night. So I thought we'd give it a shot. Found a stick that has a little knob like that. And then I just carved a notch right in there. And I might carve another notch right here just to give me a little, little extra adjustability on this thing. Seven and ice cream. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to put it in your hand. Yeah, okay. Give me a little scoop there. Thank you. Mm, pretty good. Pretty good. Did you get a brain freeze? Um, no, I didn't get a brain freeze on that one. I'm an experienced ice cream eater. I was a little worried bringing a four-year-old up here into the deep wilderness with no attractions or anything like that but she's having the time of her life up here it is awesome and these are memories she's going to be having forever she has no problem just you know taking simple pieces of bark and making plates with them and <laughs> serving vanilla ice cream with sawdust it's it's good man it makes me feel good as a dad that my daughter can uh she can hang in the woods you know what i mean Got the pot heating up now, so we're gonna go over here and prep these salmon. Got your mountain attire on. I'm cold. Like got, that, got a little, that yeah. little rain came in and I'm chilly. Sure did. 
So you're making grits. I'm making some grits, yeah. That's Cheesy right. grits yeah. with butter, but... salmon. Fantastic. Yeah. And a little salad. Gotta have a salad. OSG salad. Uh, okay, so in order to make grits, how do you make grits? Well, I how start out with that? a little bit of butter. Probably don't need that much butter, but a little bit of butter. Then you put in, you have to actually get grits. You can't just use regular cornmeal. Um, then you put this in there and get it all saturated with that fat, with the butter. And then you just kind of mix it around with some milk and some cheese until it gets cooked. All right, guys, it's pretty windy, but I'm going to try to walk you through this. Ooh. OSG's doing the, doing the grits. She's got to stir while it's getting hot with the milk. Yeah, I got, I got to stay at this station. So it's good that we have two people on deck. Okay, put you guys right here. Camp, kitchen prep. All right, so butter. Gotta have butter. Keep it basic. And I'll take, I have no idea, about a finger's width. A pat. A, what is it? A pat. A pat. A pat of butter. It's really like a teaspoon. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, a tablespoon. Lessons, lessons being learned. So about like that. And I'm just gonna chop it up into about four little little things. A square. <laughs> four little squares. <laughs> four oh. little, four little deals. <laughs> so we've got our kokanee sitting in the tin foil like this. And then I'm gonna put two of those little little butter buddies. Butter buddies. Little butter buddies right in the cavity. Then I'm going to sprinkle hard Cosmo SPG up in there. Get all up around the neck and shoulders. Then we'll take our other couple little butteries. Oh, I got a look. Okay, sorry about the chaos. All right, we're gonna fold this over. We're just basically gonna make a burrito. Fold it up, crease those ends so we keep the butter in there. And then we've got a, uh, a salmon burrito, basically. I completely forgot our fresh lemon, dadgummit. <laughs> you were even talking about uh, it. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm under duress here with the, the conditions. We've had just absolutely perfect conditions up until this point. So I'm just gonna slice some lemon, slice some lemon up, and I'm gonna place that in our little burrito our little burrito sacks. Ooh. Knife almost came back and said hello to me there. Don't want any knife injuries in the wilderness. Just relax. I know, I'm, in, I'm trying <laughs> to hurry. It's gonna be okay. I always do things worse when I'm filming. There's no question about that. It's always better when you're just focusing on what you're doing, but I've decided to record my outdoor adventures and I, I like it. You better like the like button. Don't lose that because we need that Dear goodness. These are ready, honey. Where are you at? Uh, Where are you at with ready. those grits? You want me to start putting them on? Yeah, you can put them on. All right, we're gonna put these on. All right, pot's coming off. How hot is that? It's pretty hot, it's pretty hot. Use my pot, my pot hanger as a lid getter. I'm gonna put these trout in here. You can already hear them sizzling. Never tried this method before, so we're gonna see. That's good right there. As the coals burn down, I'll move it another notch. Remove this string down. And that's trapping all the heat inside and hopefully it's gonna be cooking uh, on the top as well. So never tried this method, but I'm sure it's gonna be fine. If it doesn't work, we'll throw them straight in the coals, caveman style. In the outdoor kitchen, the cheesy OSG. <laughs> cheesy OSG. Gotta have that cheese and them grits, baby. Mmm. Yeah. It's uh, it's just about there. I'm gonna turn it off, actually. Add a little bit more milk. 
In my are... opinion, there's no better compliment to a fish meal. Oh, than some cheesy grits. Some cheesy grits. We have grits. become big fans of cheesy grits. Cheesy grits. If you add a little bit of jalapeno in there, Texas mm -hmm. style it, it is. Or green chilies. Green chilies. If you New Mexico style it, mmm. So good. Super delish. And we got to check in on our fish, see how we're doing. I've been kind of just adjusting this uh, stick and string, just depending on uh, the fire here. And don't hear any sizzles in there yet, but I am going to set a timer. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes, and then I'll probably flip them, rearrange them, and then uh, put them back on there. All right, campers, it's time to check our fish. All right, my duties are done. Talk Your duties are done? Well, you can hold the camera then. Oh, <laughs> I was waiting patiently. There you go. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull this off. Let's see what it looks like here. Ooh, ah. that sounds pretty good. Sounds like it's done. It smells, it smells great. Good. You know what? I'm gonna go on a hunch and say we'll leave it in the Dutch. Just let it cool over there by the camper for a minute or two, and then uh, we'll check it over there. But I don't think it needs any more cooking. The Dutch oven might be the way to go. The way to go. I'm liking it. All right, it's starting to get dark, and inside the camper it's it's pretty dark. So I'm gonna film out here. So you guys can see the fish. The fish. And then I'm gonna go inside and enjoy the grits and the full meal. But I think the Dutch oven did a great job. So how you know fish is done is if it flakes off the bone. I'm so hungry, I might just eat the skins and everything. This kokanee salmon. That skin is peeling off really nice. Ooh, ooh, man, look at that. Get a little bit closer, yeah, baby. Oh man, okay. So the, tr the heat was just trapped inside of that Dutch oven. I've never done that method before, but it looks like it did an incredible job. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna take a bite of that skin too. Some healthy fats. Mmm. That's better than trout. Holy cow. Now it's just flaking off. It's flaking. Look at the flake. Grab that piece right there. Put it in the nom nom. Oh man. Let me get that skin. Mmm. That's a fin. Pair this with OSG's Cheesy Grits and we've got an incredible outdoor wilderness meal, y'all. Smash that like button. I'm gonna go eat this with the family inside the camper where it's not windy. We've had a lot of bad weather this afternoon. It's kind of unpredictable in the mountains, but it's part of it. Thanks for being here, y'all, and all my outdoor adventures. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Steph. It's ready. Fish came out amazing. Come over here and get a, come over here and get a bite. Oh, you beat me. Take a bite of this salmon. Ooh. Mm. I love Ooh. How about that? I'm out. Mm. I'm gonna eat this skin. Mm.